Hey guys, John here, and for those of you who don't know me, I'm also the creator of Build a Baller. Now today, I'm really excited to tell you exactly how to properly brand and market your business or your image on social media, namely Instagram. So let's begin. So why do we even brand on social media? Well, the answer is simple. It's because it's the most powerful way out there. It beats any other normal advertisement, and it's just the most effective. So the reason why we do it, and the reason why we do it the way we do it, is because people need to trust you. Look at all the major corporations and brands and e-commerce that exist today. You have Microsoft, you have Apple, you know, all the big ones you, you already shop at. Then you also have Amazon and eBay for your e-commerce. Now the reason why those companies are so big is because everybody trusts them. Everybody who shops with them loves what they have, so they feel comfortable to spend their money with them. And that's exactly what you need to do. Now, as you can see here, we have my build a baller account. And now before we get started, I want to show you how to set your account to public because a lot of people tend to set their account to private, sometimes unknowingly, and that's bad because you're shutting yourself out. And that's of course what you don't want to do. So let me show you how to fix that. Go to your settings right here. Then go down to where it says private account and make sure it looks just like that. That way anybody can see your profile whether or not they're following you. So now, next thing we have here is your profile picture. You know, when, whenever somebody first sees it, they're gonna instantly judge you. See, if it's high quality and professional, then they're gonna wanna click your account and see what you do. But if it's not, then they're immediately gonna be turned off and of course that's bad. Now, next thing we have is your bio. Your bio speaks about what you do. So as you can see here, we have branding for the lavish minded, success tips, and download our free Instagram marketing guide. And our link is below. Now, the reason why we have it set up like this is because it's quick, clear, and concise instead of rambling. And the reason why we use emojis is because they express emotions and that's what everybody feeds into. Now, the one thing that happens is when you go to actually set up your bio like this, Instagram doesn't let you do it. So what you want to do is go to your notes on your Android or your iPhone and just set it up just like this and copy and paste and it'll appear just like this. And notice how we have these two arrows that point down or hands if you want to call it that point down right to the, the link to our website is simply because it's giving people a, a command, a direction of where to go instead of saying, go to my website and download my free ebook. So instead I'm just showing them where to go and that just does it indirectly because they don't want to be told to do anything. So now let's hop right into the content. Now, as you can see here, I have my picture, I have my quote, my hashtag, and my logo up in the corner there. See, that's a perfectly branded picture. Now, let's say you're trying to promote your business. So what you want to do is you want to take your product, you want to take a picture of it, and you want to talk about what it is, maybe some scientific facts, you know, why is it valuable to somebody else? Why do they need it? And then provide a link below the caption, and voila, you can generate clicks that way. Um, now, on my account, this being a luxury and motivational page. And the reason why is because that's, that's what is very popular nowadays and seems like the way to go if you're not trying to necessarily promote like, a bunch of products. I'm just trying to promote an ebook here. Um, so yeah. Now, look at what I have here. As you saw in my bio before, I said I do success tips. So here we have it, success tip 101. And I just talk about, you know, just life in general and I get kind of more personal with everything. And then uh, look at the bottom here. I have my three hashtags and whoa, look at that. Wealthy and lavishly. I have hashtags in my caption too. Now, why do I have it like that? And then hashtags over here? Well, answer is simple. You don't generally want to have any more than three to five hashtags in your post. That being just because it looks spammy and having it like this just looks better. See, the reason why I have it set up like this is because 
I don't want to just always stuff hashtags at the bottom there. So what I do is I put them in the caption with, with what I'm saying. So that way people don't even necessarily always recognize that you have hashtags in the caption. What they see is the hashtags that are right here. So that just makes it look better and it looks just it's just more quality and not spammy and that's what you want to go for now as you can see here I asked a question because I'm creating engagement for the audience and that's what you want to do when you when you allow your audience to engage you're creating value for them and that's what that's what drives them to your page and that's what makes them love you more and you know want to come back every day for more and more just like your favorite TV show now as you can see here, I say, do you want to just get by or be wealthy? And you know, here I'm just talking about life uh, for our for our generation compared to our parents when they were growing up. You know, working for for corporations, and they they were promised retirements, and now you know our generation with the way things are going, it's not going to be like that. So over here, ask the question, and then. The way I have it set up here, as you can see, I have comment below at the very end, and what that's saying, along with those arrows, it's telling them exactly what to do, showing them a direction where to go to put their opinion because people love to talk about themselves, you know. They want to say what they think, and that just creates value for them. You want to always create as much engagement as possible. So, yeah, I mean, as far as hashtag are concerned, you generally want to look up, you know, hashtags that are, of course, relevant to what you do and also at the same time, hashtags that are popular. Now, here, I want to point out these two hashtag hashtags, hashtag Bitcoin Millionaires and Ball App. Now, Bitcoin Millionaires is the exclusives branded hashtag. So, you know, anytime somebody sees that, then they automatically know, oh, hey, I know I know who that is. And... That's for exclusive, of course, like I just said. And what I use for Build a Baller is Ball Out. Now, the reason why I have it Ball Out is because having a hashtag that commands a direction makes it more appealing. So I put the hashtag obviously right here, as you can see, but also right there in the picture. So that way, you know, as I have it here, you know, I have the picture. Choose yours wisely. Which one will you take? talking about cars and it's kind of cool about this is when I actually had my caption I wasn't even talking about cars so it kind of like kind of like throws somebody off and it makes it like catchy and interesting but that that's a little sidetracking now let's get back to the point of hashtags now the reason why I put the hashtag in there is because let's say somebody likes your post and they want to share it see if you don't have your hashtag in there then they can just share it and when they share it with, with their network, those people aren't going to even find out about your page. So we put the hashtag there so that way when they do share it, it opens up your audience, it opens up your network so that way more people can check out your page and follow you if they like your content. And now the reason why we put the hashtag in the center is because if you put it anywhere off to the sides, that person who wants to share that picture could actually take it, crop it out, and now your image there is completely is completely removed and that's bad. You don't want to do that. And once again, we have the logo there, so that way you know it, it brands your it brands your business even more or your personal account, you know, wherever wherever you're promoting. Now, right here, I'm going to show you exactly how I make my content specifically for Build a Baller. Now, I mean, as Build a Baller is a luxury motivational page that promotes my ebook with, with success tips and branding knowledge. Uh, how I usually get my pictures is off of Pinterest because, you know, sometimes people don't always have those in incredible luxuries. They're not always, you know, at that stage where you can go out and you can buy that Lamborghini or you can buy that Ferrari. So you want to capture people's interest by showing them what what exactly they want to see. Everybody wants to have a lot of money. They want to buy a nice car. They want to have that nice house. So use the tools that are already out there to lifestyle market yourself. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take, I'm going to take this picture of this red Lamborghini on the right. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this magnifying glass here. Now I'm going to 
change that, the crop, and have it so it's like that. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to snapshot it. So give me a moment. Okay, so now that I've taken my snapshot, I'm going to show you exactly how I turn this picture into a quality post. So what I want to do here is now I'm going to go to an app called PicLab HD. So give me a second to find that. And start over here. Uh, now I'm going to go to the picture right here. And I'm going to slide this bar over here, this little slidey thing, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to crop it. And then I'm going to select square crop so that way it looks nice and neat according to how Instagram always has its posts. And I'm going to make it so that way it fits nice. There we go. Now I'm gonna hit that OK button right here. Little arrow, the blue arrow. Bam, there you go. Now, when you wanna put, you know, quotes for a motivational page, uh, you know, if, if you're just promoting a product, you, you don't always need to put quotes. I mean, if you're gonna have a sale, you might wanna use this, so that way you can promote a sale, say, say flash sale 20% off or however much it is. So in order to properly do that, you want your words to always stand out right and not be flushed out by the picture. So what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna go ahead and, and do here is I'm gonna mess with the effects. Now you don't wanna mess with it too much because you wanna keep the originality of the picture because that's what people like. You know, a lot of people on Instagram that don't know how to market and brand, they actually use filters and they overly use effects and it, and it just doesn't look natural. So it, it may look kind of cool, but that's what everybody does. So you're going to be, you're going to fit in with the crowd and that's what, and that's what, <coughs> excuse me, that's exactly what you don't want to do. So I'm going to go ahead here, go to, go to effects <coughs> and I'm going to lower the brightness a little bit. Now I'm gonna to go to exposure, turn that down slightly. A little too much there. Okay, perfect. Just just about there. Then I'm gonna to go to saturation. I'm gonna turn that up a little bit so that way there's more color. And that's it. Now I'm gonna go over here, top. I'm gonna to save that picture to my gallery. And now I'm gonna to go to an app called Fonto, which is where we actually uh, make our quotes. So let me find that real quick. Fonto, right here. So now that Fonto is open, now I'm going to find the picture that I just made. I'm not going to mess with any of these. Just hit done. And now, this is where, you know, for me, I would think of a quote. Now I'm going <coughs> to, excuse me again, type in, for example, what does this mean to you? So bear with me as I type that. Now instead of saying, what does this mean to you? I just replaced mean with represent because I just felt it was better. Now, take a look over here, align. You wanna always align that center. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit that button. Now it's aligned in the center. And now as far as the font, the most psychologically, uh, psychologically engaging font is called Bebos New, which you can actually find all about that in my Build Baller ebook. And you can also download that for free from dafont.com. That's D-A-F-O-N-T dot com. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna press done. That's right here. So now I'm gonna take it and move it over into the center. Now I'm going to hit style. I'm gonna hit style up here again. Now I'm gonna to go to spacing. And what I'm going to do with that is just adjust that so that way the letters are 
almost touching, but not so much. Yeah, right there is about good. Um, now I'm actually going to I'm going to go to shadow here, and I'm going to choose this A in the center, right there. or rather not center, but you know, second on the left. And that's gonna change up the way the word looks. Now notice how it, it's popping out more. You should be able to notice that. If you can't, then it's just, it's just what I'm recording with. And now I'm gonna go ahead and hit done. So what does this represent to you? Now I'm gonna mess around with the size a little bit. And then place it right there, or wherever that looks best fit. Yeah, I could say right there. So what does this represent to you? Now I'm going to add in my branded hashtag, hashtag ball out. And for this one, I'm going to align it center as well. And I, used to, I, I like to use Ostrich Sands Medium for that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Kind of the same exact method. Hit style again. Uh, I'm just going to make it that A again, uh, that's it. I don't need to mess with that too much. Make the size, make it relatively small. Put that at the bottom of the quote. Well, in this case, a question that I'm asking. If it wants to move over, I don't know why it's doing that. There we go. And boom, there you go. So now I move that over. What does this represent to you? Hashtag ball out now. People will see my branded hashtag and they'll think of me. And what I'm also going to do here, actually, cannot do that on this on this phone that we're using, but I would add in my logo at the top right here. Fortunately, the logo is not on this phone, so I can't use it. But you get the point. So that's what you want to do right there, and that makes a properly branded photo and nice high nice high quality. And then from there, all you want to do is you want to hit this button right here and just save the image. Now it's saved successfully. Hit OK. And that's it. So now what I want to do from here is I'm going to go and post. So now I have it there, so I choose it and hit next again. And then I'm not actually going to post this one. This is just an example for you. So what I would do is I would type in uh, maybe success tip 101, and then I would say something along the lines of, what does this mean to you? To some, it me it just it's just a Lamborghini in on on a driveway or wherever it is, and to you this actually might mean a symbol of success a symbol of empowerment and a symbol of getting what you want and then just kind of go on with that pretty much create a story out of it and use and use exactly what i taught you hashtags emojis and you know get your audience to engage um you know <coughs> excuse me as you can see from this picture right here i essentially asked the question what does this represent to you? So, you know, just from that, you may not need to even ask a question in the caption because this picture already asked the question. So there you go. Kind of saves you some time there. And of course, remember to use your branded hashtags and any other hashtag that's popular. You know, actually one thing, one, one hashtag that's usually popular is trending hashtags. So anything that's Anything that's that's trending that you, you use that's relevant to your niche is more likely to go viral than anything else. Now, you know you already know how to post at this point. You already know you know what it takes. So, how are you going to even drive the people that are going to want to buy your products or your service? How you, how how are you going to drive them to you? Here's how: this app right here called Crowdfire. All you have to do is download the app and connect your account to it and what you want to do is you want to follow people like success successful famous people uh who are entrepreneurs or you know businesses that are already big that are relevant to your niche so let's say for example i'm uh doing build a baller obviously so let's let's say for example 
Grant Cardone. He is a very, very good salesman and a very good entrepreneur in general. So I'm going to follow his followers because they would most likely be interested in what I do. So copy followers. I would type in Grant Cardone. So here we have it. Show Grant Cardone. See, it actually might be uh, one word, not two. Huh. You know what? I, oh, wait. There we go. Appeared right at the bottom there. I'm going to go ahead and click that. Show. Now this is retrieving followers. Now, it, what it showed me here is all of Grant Cardone's most engaged followers. So these are all targeted, all legit followers that you're going to want to follow. So all you got to do is you got to keep, you got to keep hitting that plus sign. You can follow around 120 per hour. So you want to do that as many hours in the day as possible. Uh, do that for about two days. And then you want to wait about two to three days for people to follow you back. And that what that's going to do is that's going to raise your following count, but it's also going to raise your follower count as those people follow you back. And usually you want to give it about two to three days just because not everybody uses Instagram every day. So you want to give them time to get to get on Instagram and follow you back. And that's going to build up your follower count. And um, after, after you wait the time, two or three days, then you can go in, you can unfollow them and that's going to build up your audience and make you look more credible as your follower count goes up and your following count drops. And uh, you want to make sure to follow all the people that you're following their followers. You want to make sure you keep following them because that just adds more credibility to you. And what that is going to result in, people see what you're doing, they see your product, they see your bio, they see everything that makes your profile yours and so unique and, sp and special. They're going to follow you and they'll even hit you up in a DM and, and say, Hey, like, like, what is, what is this all about? Can you explain to me more? And there you go. You can turn that into a conversion and make some money. Let's get started. And I hope, I hope you guys enjoy this and I am excited for you and let's get this money.